we've seen million dollar movies that are piles of garbage. How many romantic comedies come out a month that are just terrible? And they probably cost, you know, $40 million. And you know, they just like throw more money at, throw more money at, throw more money at. And I just, you know, that's why I, without the money, I don't have any choice but to solve my problems creatively. And being able to solve your problems creatively in any endeavor, music, film, art, stand up, whatever you're going to do, is crucial to be successful in this business. The industry doesn't need people with money. The industry has the expensive equipment. The industry has uh, the connections. The industry has the fancy locations. The industry has the ability to make things explode and, and to do 3D and to take you off into worlds like Pandora and make your guy fly in a friggin' dragon and all that stuff. They don't need that. They don't need shallow depth of field focus and they don't need you with the red camera and all this incredibly expensive equipment. They've got that. What they need are people who can tell a compelling story, people with unique voices, people who know what they want their film to be. They can see it, they can feel it, they've got it written down, it's on the page, they know how to, how to make it happen. They need original voices. Always, always, always. I know we see a lot of crappy movies come out, and the thought is, well, there's no originality in Hollywood. It's like, well, they're kind of in short supply. You know, they don't need someone to show up and be like, oh, well, we'll just, you know, max out a card or we'll spend all this money and wait. Oh, we don't have the, the proper, you know, lens or whatever to shoot this scene the way I wanted to. Oh, let's come back tomorrow and, and, and pay again for location. No, 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 no. You can't, you can't be that. So I'm supposed to use the whole thing? Dude, trust me. When it comes to rashes, you can never use too much ointment. It just seems like a lot of ointment to use in my armpits. Jeff! Oh! Hey, how's it going? Good! I was actually heading back towards the train. Hey, who is that? Sounds awkward. I was just on the phone with my doctor about this ointment for my friend. He's got this armpit rash. Oh, she's not going to believe that. I don't believe that. Told you. Man, this is great. I can totally hear everything. So, what brings you to this neck of the woods? Well, my old roommate just moved in with her boyfriend a couple of blocks away. And I missed the house when we parked. Yeah, this is boring. I should probably inside. hang out. Apparently you live here. What a coincidence. Yeah, I actually live in this very building. If you wanted to hang out or something. Sure. I can help you apply that ointment. It's for a friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm purposely making the film for no money. Um, I'd made dozens of short films, also for no money, varying degrees of you know, funniness and success, I guess, depending on how you look at it. Um, and I always want to make features, and what stopped me, obviously, before was the fact that it would cost a lot of money to make a feature film, and I also had no idea how to make one, so I felt that in order to be an efficient filmmaker and uh, be able to make movies the way I want to make them, which is be jump right in and uh, write and direct the whole thing and purposely do it for free, because I felt that with no budget, I would have to solve all my problems creatively, and um, hopefully in the future when I make movies with money, I would know where I would want to spend it. I mean, I'm halfway done with the film and already I know exactly where the money's going to go when I uh, start making my next feature. Admittedly, just like everyone else, I'm kind of like, you know, it's very easy to get uh, to dismiss social media in any aspect, because people just, they feel like they're tired of hearing about Facebook or Twitter or oversharing, etc. But I feel that it's crucial as any artist, especially in any artist of any degree today and in the future either you're just starting out or you are already like a household name to use social media to find your audience connect them to you and each other and then directly reward said audience in the way that you see fit see it used to be that you had to do it you know a certain way you had to go to certain schools and then you had to go to certain places in the world and you know, basically play the game, and, and it was a very narrow path, and it, you know, it was very frustrating. It was a very broken system. You know, like um, it really had anything do, to do with uh, you know getting good stuff out there. Um, but now with social media, like it seems like you can literally put something out into the world that everyone in the world can see. Obviously, nobody looks at it, but arguably. You know, anything you put out there. Like for Master Inventions, I thought, well, if I make this movie and I put it out there, anyone in the world can see it for free. So the issue now is no longer, well, how do I persuade these high industry bigwigs to, you know, 
put my stuff out there or put my stuff in you know TVs and movie theaters. It's like how do I find my audience? And it's a different set of criteria. It's a different set of standards and rules, but it's way more manageable. I feel you know like. I have no idea how to, you know, impress Hollywood and, and get all this money and, and, you know, all this, you know, fame and all this power. But I do understand that if I, you, you know, use Facebook and Twitter to, you know, contact people, sometimes one by one and engage an audience, you know, little by little, I can build relationships with these people. And, and you know, they like stuff, they don't like stuff, you know, they, they watch the clips, they don't, I, I release it, they enjoy it, they want to see what the next thing is, you know, it's all about finding your audience and you know organizing them and then just like directly giving back to them you know it's not it's nothing to do with money it's everything to do with connecting the people who actually want to hear what you have to say